It was a choice that I immediately questioned. Basically, it's how to scam a scammer. She works hard for the money. I've been discovered. Get it going. Get it going. like a wig today <laughs> do you ever have that where it's just like mm, third fourth day hair and you're just like this looks like a wig okay i promise i'm not gonna i'm not going to complain about my hair this vlog anyway i finally got my makeup on and got dressed for the day it's been a long morning it was a long night a long morning lucy had a really long night she woke up with a lot of snot so i think she's just not feeling well and I'm a little nervous that we're not going to be able to do the rodeo field trip tomorrow. We're just kind of waiting and seeing. We had just like a really slow relaxing morning. We decided not to go to church just like let her rest. She woke up really early and so I was just kind of like hanging with her and relaxing and we watched a little bit of Ferngully. Do y'all remember Ferngully? If you did not grow up loving Ferngully like there's a big piece of me you don't understand. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just have a special place for Ferngully in my heart because when I was really little, like I like barely remember this, but I do remember this. This is like one of those like first memory kind of things. I entered a coloring contest. <laughs> I'm like talking to you with a handful of supplements right now. Let me just, <laughs> that's honestly way too many to take all at once, but like I can't be bothered. Also, wow, I'm interrupting my own story. I showed y'all this on Instagram because I was in between two different little like medicine organizers. I went with the cute little heart one. They also have like rainbow and different solid colors too. It's so cute and it holds so much more than my old one because I added yet another supplement and I needed more capacity. So rather than being like, wow, I am taking a lot of medicine and supplements, I was like, wow, time for a cute upgrade. And I'm really happy with this one. Anyway, the story, I entered a coloring contest when I was little, like little, little, four, five, I don't even remember how old. It was at our local grocery store that we were always going to. I was always there with my mom because you know, my mom loves to cook. She's always cooking. So we were always shopping for groceries. And within this grocery store, there was a little movie rental place and they were doing a Ferngully coloring contest where you just like color a little page and you could win the movie and a movie poster. And <laughs> I was a little kid, like I was not doing any kind of like stunning masterpieces. Like I was not like a coloring book prodigy or anything like that. Like I don't even really remember what it looked like, but entered the coloring contest. And then one Saturday I was taking a nap. Like I was that little, I was taking a nap in the middle of the day. And when I woke up or either maybe my mom woke me up, it was like a very, it felt like very different. Like this is so not our routine. I woke up, I was like, so tired i just i really remember this and they told me that i won the coloring contest and so they took me to the grocery store and i got this huge fern gully movie poster and i got the vhs of fern gully and i just felt like a superstar <laughs> like i was like oh my gosh i've been discovered my talent is shining <laughs> like it just really like made my life and i actually remember seeing like a ton of the coloring pages like there were a lot of entries it was not just like me and like some other baby like there there was participation <laughs> in this for some reason and i don't think it was like a raffle situation i don't know i feel like they were just like oh this is this little girl that's always in here like let's let her win which i really appreciate because it's totally like a core memory for me at this point so frankly just has like a special place in my heart even though it's like the most like sort of obnoxious like save the rainforest 90s thing like it's just good and like we were watching part of it this morning and like the animation like i feel like the detail that they put into it and like there's just so much to look at like i i know that i had this when i was a little kid and me and grant have talked about it it's just like your favorite books and favorite things when you were little were the things that were like most detailed like you would look at these pages and just like keep looking at them forever like maybe we were just really really bored we didn't have like screens and stuff but like you would just like analyze every little scene and like i remember this book that had like 
these little bugs I can't remember what it was but it was like a whole city of them you could look at like all the different things and everybody like doing different activities and interacting and stuff and like that was your favorite stuff because you could just look at that forever and just like be entertained it was just so detailed and interesting and I feel like Ferngully is like that <laughs> and it's just so 90s save the rainforest like not playing around <laughs> it's just kind of funny to look back on I'm totally getting off track right now but like I was also reminded the other day of the brave little toaster that is one I need to bust out I don't think Lucy will care about it at all but like personally I would like to watch that movie today anyway as I clutch my little medication thing I actually was checking this earlier to make sure I was taking my glutamine because of how sore I've been for my workouts this week because glutamine really really helps me I was thinking about it it's like my whole goal in working out and being consistent with weightlifting and just trying to get stronger in general like the whole goal is to take care of Lucy and get stronger to take better care of Lucy and like and just be strong for her and be able to lift her and move her and keep her safe and carry her as much as I need to and just do all the daily tasks that I need to do for her without getting run down. But in doing that, I end up getting super sore and it makes it like harder and it makes it more painful to actually do those tasks. It's a vicious circle, but I think it's still like the best route. It's just like, you know, you do what you gotta do, you know? I guess I'm in the mood to ramble, but we need to go to the grocery store. We're just kind of like trying to lay low today. <sighs> Why am I out of breath? Anyway, let's go. There is a controversy on the bitch dwell aisle. Lunch of champions, lunch of starving people. I had big plans for this nap time. We had lunch and I was like, it just hits me. It just hits me like a ton of bricks. She goes to sleep and sometimes the wave of tiredness that hits me is just, it's just too great. And I was like, I'm just gonna like take a little 30 minute nap and then I'm gonna do my mood too. I'm gonna work on this rug. I'm gonna vlog, mm -mm -mm. all these plans. <laughs> And then I slept for like an hour. She's actually still sleeping. I do not want to wake her up because I know she's not feeling well and she's like stuffy and it took her a while to go to sleep. But I did want to show you guys my new rug. I showed it on Instagram. I moved Lucy's little play mat here so I could actually show you. It's, there's a lot going on. <laughs> Our old rug was really amazing and it was so good and I loved it so much, but it had been through a lot and it just was looking so bad and I just like, had it with that rug and we went on Wayfair I found this one and it was supposed to be the exact same size as our old one and we have like a nice rug pad and everything so we're just gonna repurpose that one and this one came it's definitely got issues it's it's a lot of rug it's a lot of colors it's definitely not for everyone I was excited about it 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 works for our house. We have like a crazy colored island that I did not choose and I, I would not have chosen it, but this rug definitely ties that in. Wasn't the goal, but it's a happy accent. The real problem is Wayfair. This rug is not the size you said it was gonna be. And so the little rug pad sticks out the side. Let me show you. All right, rug tour. We've got like every color going on. And it's a little bit lighter than it's showing up on camera, I think. I do have to vacuum it every single day because <laughs> it just sheds like crazy, especially right here. But like, look, crazy colors are already happening in the house. Lucy's room used to be this color. It was fine. We left it like that for a long time, but we switched it to pink and I'm liking that a lot better. I personally would love to have this island pink, like a really light pink. Whatever, we didn't buy this rug for the island. I just really liked it. It was a choice that I immediately questioned when we put it out and we're just going with it. I'll link it in case you like it, but just warning, it sheds like crazy. My project for right now is to literally cut the rug. Just get my little scissors and which I hate to do. I hate to do it, but I'm gonna do it. You know what? I really wanna show you what we got at the boot barn. We found a cute outfit, like one singular cute outfit. I really wanted to get that like bandana accent, like skirt and top at the first place, 
but like a skirt like that is just like not right for Lucy. Like if I would, if I had skills and I had a sewing machine, I would like sew the t-shirt and the skirt together and like make it a dress. I wish I could do that because that was the cutest outfit. But this is the one that we found at Boot Barn. It's got like little flares with butterflies. Oh my gosh, this outfit smells like leather i kind of see myself getting carpal tunnel from doing this right now and also i have to get a little strip off the back too like <sighs> y'all lately how much i appreciate my husband oh thank you you've told me it's just like chaos toy chaos in here all right and here we see back hello hello we can put our little sunshine sheets on these are my favorite sheets i ever got for lucy I always want her to have these sheets on, but I change sheets nonstop. They are just so cute and so perfect for Lucy. Milk. Okay. Oh. I had to wash just the back of Lucy's hair. It was kind of a emergency hair wash situation, even though we washed her hair. This morning too. Okay, I really need to be working on my Mutu exercises right now, but instead I would like to tell you guys about an experience I had this week. Basically, it's how to scam a scammer. The other day, Lucy was taking a nap and I got a call. And to be totally honest, it did say potential scam, not potential scam, potential spam on it. And I answered it anyway, just because it was making my computer ring and it was loud and I was just like, ah, stop. But sometimes I've answered a call like that and it's been like about a, a medical appointment. So I actually do need to answer it. So I was just, I was paranoid. So I answered it. The guy on the phone, he was in a chaotic place. Like there was a lot going on in the background. It like sounded like a call center, like so much talking in the background, just loud, right? And he, started off like the story did not make sense he was like there's been a charge on your amazon account uh they're getting like airpods and a macbook something like that he told me the amount it was like over a thousand dollars and it's going to an address in new york and i just want to verify that this was your purchase and like make sure it's all legit because this is like a larger amount and he read out the address obviously not my address i don't live in new york and it sounded very scammy from like moment one the story did not add up but i also didn't want to like it was an actual person talking to me so i didn't want to just like hang up obviously you got to do what you got to do i should not have like been this patient with this person but i like just i don't know i wanted to hear him out <laughs> so he repeats to me again the address and i'm kind of slow to respond because it sounds so scammy and i'm being quiet because lucy's sleeping and so i'm slow to respond and then when i do respond i'm quiet and he's like what and like are you there hello like really fast like getting annoyed with me being very impatient that he's not scamming me fast enough <laughs> like i'm the problem here and i kept just being like okay all right so you know answering the questions eventually but i kind of just didn't know what to say because it just felt so scammy anyway on like the third time of him losing his patience with me and being like hello are you there i was like i'm talking quietly because my baby's sleeping and then there was like a long pause like a strangely long pause especially for such an impatient situation and then he was like, okay, I need to put you on hold right now. And then I'm going to get right back to you. I'm just going to check some things. Da, da, da. I was like, okay, he put me on hold and I was right in front of my computer. So I Googled it like Amazon scam, whatever, whatever. And it like immediately came up. This is like a known scam. And like, I'm just out of the loop. At least a couple of minutes had passed. I really don't think he had any intention to actually come back to the call. I feel like in that pause, after I said my baby is sleeping, he had a moment where he was like, I'm really out here scamming the mothers of the world. <laughs> and he got off the phone and was giving me a chance to like get out of the situation. I know, probably not the case, but in case you ever want to scam a scammer, you wanna play mind games while they're playing mind games with you, just tell them 
something about your baby. I don't know. I don't know why I was like so shocked by this situation. I think it's because it was like an actual person I was talking to. And also because it seemed like it was somebody in a huge room of other people potentially doing the same thing. Like, I don't know what the situation is. I can't really make assumptions here. I don't know the scammer life, but basically that's how you scam a scammer. You reveal yourself as a mother and they just feel really guilty. <laughs> One, two, three, go! on some chicken for us to like meal prep for the week. I'm telling y'all, Grant is on a serious journey right now and I am reaping the benefits. <laughs> oh, do you see? Oh no, there's Looney. We gotta be so gentle. So gentle. That's our baby Luna. Outback Steakhouse. Ooh, get that onion going. We stay bloomed. You're making shallots right now. I am making shallots right now. Grant is doing a special treat this week. Yeah, I went. I went to the we went to the grocery store and I was in a, an extreme state of hunger. <laughs> extreme. Yeah. Y'all, he was like, I can't see right now. I hadn't eaten in like 18 hours. So my my idea. It smells really good. Yeah. Here. So I got four shallots. I'm gonna roast them, and then they're just gonna they're gonna cool off and get chopped up. Sounds and good. And see how it goes. Yeah. And then if it works out, we'll come back and get like oh, like fill these up and you know start our own little, little store at the farmer's market. All right, we love an entrepreneur. So, an entrepreneur. We love an entrepreneur. This, it came to him. Yeah, it was like a vision, you know? It's like when it you go on this like, fast and you just like start to see things. <laughs> Earlier today, he was telling me about how he was getting clarity from the fasting <laughs> period. Uh, or I mean, I mind. believe you. Yeah. No, I believe you. You were saying some good things. We were doing yeah. a lot of talking this morning. We had a very slow morning. We were just hanging with Lucy, taking it slow. And we yeah. were talking about a lot of stuff. And I do I do feel like it was true. I mean, you're saying some very clear things. Yeah, I've been doing intermittent fasting to try to lose some weight and get healthier. I kind of slid into it where I was doing it Saturdays and Sundays for, I don't know, like a month. And then I just decided to kind of pull the trigger and try it out at work. But You've done it before. Yeah, like I've done it a long time ago. It's really hard to do it though, like when you're in residency, which is when I did it, because you don't know like if you're actually gonna get lunch. Now I have a more set schedule. When I hit 12, I, get, I have a shake that I'll eat and then I'll have a couple little chewables. Chew <laughs> the fact that he says chewables. <laughs> That's just the most insane thing. That's I, I love it. I, but I, I mean, by 12, you've been up like seven hours without eating. That's not right. Seven hours, seven and, hours. Work, and usually at work, I've been trying to work out every day. <laughs> seven hours. Nothing crazy, like trying to I do. I would die when I tell you I would It's great, so away. the working out helps. You know, Leanne and I, since Lucy had been born, have been kind of focused on getting healthier, yeah. to stay healthier for her, and just, you know, be healthier in general. What it really boils down to for me, in like the most brutal terms, is we need to live forever, number yeah. one. Number two, we need to cut any possible stress that we can because we have built-in stress into our life. And so we need to make everything work as smoothly as possible. And if you can make your body feel good, work smoothly, and like take those barriers away, take those everyday stresses that we're all dealing with away as much as you can. Like obviously we're not going crazy. Like we went out and had tacos last night. Like we're not doing anything like mind blowing, but we're definitely more focused on like treating our bodies right. I've never been in shape, like even as a kid, like in elementary school. So should be interesting. I don't know what's actually gonna happen. I, we're gonna, we've been doing some scans. I did a bunch of stuff this week. Yeah, um, Grant, so we did that DEXA scan in the last vlog, but Grant's done way more testing beyond that, like a lot of stuff I that like, I never yeah. knew existed. Like, so I the VO2 know. max is really popular now. Yeah. I did that. I did like a resting metabolic rate thing. I did a lactate threshold testing, learning more about this stuff. I'm like, oh, in medicine, there's so much, so many tools available to us to make people healthier and fix a lot of these kind of chronic diseases that we're just ignorant of and not using, that it's pretty, 
It's yeah, it's super crazy. There's a lot of complex reasons. It's not just one sort of thing, but I don't know. We're so different. Like I used to work out, and Leanne and Leanne started work out some like when we were dating. Yeah. But now it's just sort of like, are we gonna be like we want to be the fittest people for the rest of our lives? But it's kind of strange because that's not really like us. We're not like the no. people who are out there like we were you talking know, about it earlier. It's just like like strapped on with stuff out there, like really going, you know, you know, with like bottles on them and stuff, and like you know, a bunch of timers. You know, it's so it's so not us. Like neither of us have been every, like you know. passionate about like being fit or anything like that. Like y'all know. I've always been something that's like, I don't like working out. I don't like spending time on working out. I don't need to work out, which is always my attitude. And now I like really do need to work out. And I have like the best motivation in the world. Like both of us have the best motivation to do better. And yeah. are we going to be the fittest people? No. I think we are. I, I, I think that I, I think I love we're going to be like, way. I think we're going to very casually like do a run Disney marathon. Are we pushing Lucy? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna push Lucy. Lucy's gonna ride. The She's whole gonna way. run. Can she get a number if she if we push yeah. her? Yeah, and it's gonna be like four. And we're just gonna they're gonna like go through the finish line at the end of the marathon and just be like, oh, we got okay, park reservations. Okay, don't even say that because now and I'm envisioning it. I'm envisioning Lucy with a number on her stroller. So super exciting. Like I told you, like I was not joking. Grant is on a journey, and he is like, I'm on a journey. you are on a journey. And um, now, first time hearing about it, it's gonna end in a run Disney. Never have I ever wanted to do any kind of marathon. Or ultra marathon. So exciting things. Grant is going to start like documenting this journey and also like doing some other videos and stuff. Anyway, obviously it's hasn't happened thing. yet. So, <laughs> but I'll let you know when it does happen. And I think yeah. it'll be really interesting. I just gotta get, I gotta make video one next weekend. And it was supposed to be like I started, like when I started this whole thing and now it's like six no. weeks later. Yeah, he's so, been going with all of this. But, I've been going. But I mean, hey. So now we gotta just sit, that's the hardest part is getting started. So I'm gonna sit down. But you've camera. actually already started the hard part. You've yeah. already done a lot of the hard parts, like doing all these appointments, actually working out every day, changing your eating habits. Like you've yeah. done all the hard parts. And now you just have to talk about it, which you were just talking about it. Like, it's, it's not going to be, it's going to be so easy. <laughs> Everybody's going to do it. Are you walking? We need to get some like stroller lights. We've been going on walks like every weekday and I think for safety. Oh, she's sleepy. We've got one little eye over there. I see you. I see you. I see you. I didn't mean to interrupt your bottle. I'm sorry. All right, it is nine o'clock suddenly. We went out, had dinner, did our little family walk that we've been doing every day. Like, that's something that I've wanted for us for a very long time, and now, on board so we've been doing it every day for a couple of weeks now and i really really like it and i think lucy likes it too lucy had her bath bottle meds all of that she's asleep now i got everything prepped for the rodeo in the morning we have to be there super early and i feel like she's feeling a little bit better so i have high hopes but at the same time it's like if anything changes overnight or she's like not feeling so good in the morning obviously we just won't go the other variable is the weather it's like a 50% chance of rain right when we're getting there. And there's definitely a lot of walking between anywhere you can park for the rodeo and the actual rodeo buildings, like where we would want to be going. So the main step we'll be going to is inside, but there's a lot of walking to get there. And I was planning on bringing her wheelchair just because then she'd just be so much more supported and like in the action you know like in her stroller she's more reclined and there's like stuff on the sides you know it's very comfortable for her and we use her stroller a lot like obviously on our walk but the wheelchair just like gives her more upright support and it just to me feels like she's much more like in the world and like you know like if she's like gonna pet a bunny rabbit or something like she'd just be right up there you know what i mean so I really wanted to bring the wheelchair and unfortunately like I have no experience like loading her into the wheelchair in the rain and I, I don't think there will be like covered parking or anything like that. So I packed a poncho, like one of our ponchos that we use for Disney and 
an umbrella. I don't know, but if the forecast looks really bad in the morning, that's the other variable that could keep us from going. I, I just want us to get to do it. And you know, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, whatever. There's plenty of years, plenty of rodeos that we can go to in the future, but I'm doing what I can to make it happen so she can go and have some fun. Okay, I'm seeing that my little battery has like a slash through it. My camera's about to die. It's a perfect time to end the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Subscribe, comment. I'll see you in the comments. Give it a thumbs up, all that stuff. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys watching and sticking with me, like I said, at the beginning of the video. And I'll see you in the next.